But the question now, is this the end of the Bachman era, or is it just the beginning of something big? Joining me now by Skype, Michelle Bachman's former faith coordinator for her presidential campaign, Peter Waldron. Uh, Peter, you brought charges against Bachman having to do uh, with uh, campaign finances. They're being investigated by the House Ethics Committee. Tell me about that. What are these charges? Sure. I filed a complaint uh, with the uh, FEC, the Federal Elections Commission, in January. And in, in the, com the complaint, I had five allegations, uh, allegations that dealt with uh, payments uh, to a sitting senator in the Iowa Senate. Uh, I dealt with uh, issues of uh, Michelle Pack, uh, a political act committee contributing to the compensation for an employee of the Bakken for president. There are five allegations in total, Dave. Do you think that's why she's not running again, or do you think, do you take out her word that there are just, she wants to move on to some other challenges? I believe that uh, any reasonable person who is under investigation by five separate entities to include the FBI, the Office of uh, uh, Ethical, uh, of Ethics of the House, there is the Senate Ethics Committee in uh, uh, Iowa, there's so many investigations. There's five investigations. There's a lawsuit that's in the process of settlement. I think that's a lot for any one person to handle just one of the issues. But I believe that uh, the strain of having to uh, sustain all the questions that are coming as a result of the investigation, talking to investigators, the lawyers, the lawyer fees, settlement talks, it gets to be uh, quite a chore to carry that. And then, of course, there's constituent services to the uh, people of the 6th District of Minnesota. So she's got a lot on her plate. I think it was a good decision. I think it benefits her. It benefits her constituents. And I believe that the issues that I have raised in uh, the various investigations will be addressed. They'll be investigated. And justice at the end will, uh, will prove out uh, the allegations I've made. All right, Peter, let me bring in uh, CNN's chief congressional correspondent, Dana Bash, who covers Congresswoman Michelle Bachman on the Hill, and political reporter Peter Hanby, who covered her presidential campaign last year. Uh, Dana, do you think uh, that, that, that Peter Waldron is right, that the reason she's announcing she's not running for re-election is because uh, she is just so burdened by these House ethics investigation uh, dealings? The, the truth is we don't know the answer. We know that she explicitly said that wasn't the reason. She also explicitly said that uh, she's not retiring at the end of her term because she wasn't afraid to, uh, of losing. Uh, but we also know, as he just laid out, that there are big problems that she has. Be, and it was going to be a tough go for her. I mean, this is a, she represents a Republican district that Democrats really thought that they could win because she has that seat, because she's a lightning rod. They were very much gunning for it. And now Democrats admit if she's gone, it might be hard for her to get and er, for them to get at every single seat. In the House, as the Democrats try to get the majority back, matters. That was a key one. And Peter Hamby, you know that covering from coming her, as I do, that she's a very personable person, very likable to the likes of us. She had a very high rate of staff turnover in Congress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she absolutely did. She had a high rate of staff turnover in Congress. She cycled through multiple chiefs of staff. She also did it on her presidential campaign. And I was emailing with a number of former advisors today, just kind of checking in, trying to get some insight into this decision. And I was actually kind of shocked by how many of them were like, haven't we talked to her for a while, got no idea. Uh, mm -hmm. haven't been in the loop for a long time, can't help you, sorry. So, yeah. I mean, it, she, she keeps a very tight circle, and during the presidential campaign, she was, you know, very sort of sheltered, uh, you know, aside from media interviews here and there. Uh, they tried to keep her away. She traveled with a large security entourage in a lot of situations and would literally push reporters literally away push in some reporters situations. Away. I yeah. remember that. Down to Bash, Peter Hamby, and Peter Waldron, thank you so much.